What's up guys, Dan the Soul Man here, and I've got a pair of skid high zips from the Vans Volt line. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, these are a collaboration between Vans Volt and Blends. Now for those of you guys I think that Blends is some like a fancy blender shop or like a smoothie place or something. It's not. Um, it is a shoe boutique here in California. They've got about four locations all throughout Southern California. And they most famously entered the Vans world and they collaborated with Vans Volt a year or two ago, I can't remember, um, and they did a, a shoe for their anniversary, and it was a black version of this with a white bone jazz stripe. Clearly, the bone stripe is the key player here, um, the key thing that makes these really badass. And it's such a simple design element, such a simple design tweak, but it just works so well. It gives these shoes so much more character, um, and just it really, really just like pops out at you. When the old schools dropped, there was rumor that there was going to be a red skate high and an all-white skate high. The red skate high being uh, the rarer of the two, and it seems that the reverse has been the case. The red ones have dropped, were limited, I think around like 200 pairs were made. It's not really sure how many. Um, and the white ones are still rumored to be out there, but possibly just friends and family. Not really bummed out about that. I really don't like all white shoes, so I'm glad that the red ones were the ones that I was able to get my hands on. The only thing that I'm kind of bummed out about is that when I heard that there was going to be a red skate high, I thought for sure we were going to have a white bone stripe. Um, white bones. Bones are white. It just kind of makes sense to me. And I think it just looks better, as can be exemplified by this picture that I've painstakingly photoshopped for you guys. Um, took me all of two seconds. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I just, I think it works better. It looks nicer. It really makes the stripe pop more. And like I said, it makes, it makes sense. You know, bones are white. So why not have a white jazz stripe? I don't know. Um, that being said, the black jazz, stri jazz stripe does work. It's a cool colorway, black and red, and you can't go wrong with that. But I feel like it just it doesn't pop as much as it could. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll have the guts to customize these or modify them. But as of now, I'm going to keep them like this. Other than that, uh, they decided to go with a much nicer, in my opinion, leather than last time around. Um, this time, we've got this leather that, as you can probably see, has a bit more texture to it. It's less smooth. But just feels amazing. I mean, it's like it's like running your finger over a stick of butter. <laughs> some of the nicest leather that I've felt on a pair of Vans, and I've got some pretty cool, some pretty nice Vans. So that's saying a lot. Um, also, uh, this leather is going to definitely be less prone to creasing in the toe box area. The other two are really bad at that. If you've ever seen a picture of a worn pair of those. There's, they get some pretty heavy creases there, so that's cool too. So yeah, so the entire shoe is covered in this red. Chili pepper is the color where they're going with. Leather, um, very nicely done. Black leather bone stripe in that same soft buttery leather. Pretty heavy duty YKK zipper back here. A uh, nice little tab or a flap here to protect your ankle from the zipper when you're wearing them. Off the wall black heel tab. I wish they would have done, they would have gone with the one they used for the old school. Not sure why it keeps changing. Actually, now, <laughs> fun fact all three of the bone stripe shoes have different heel tabs. So that's uh, interesting. White midsole, black foxing stripe round cut toe bumper and they went, did go ahead and color match the outsole here so they have a chili pepper outsole which is very nice I think um, black would have been too much I think so red definitely worked for these and yeah it's I mean like I said it's a very simple shoe very simple design but the addition of this bone jazz strap just kind of it just works the entire inside of the shoe is lined in a different but equally soft and supple black leather 
all the way throughout, um, except for the insole, which is half leather and then half. It's kind of dark. You can't see that. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. But believe me, it's half canvas and half black leather. And of course, you got that branding on the heel here. Another thing I was really bummed out, and I've been con consistently bummed out every time these shoes drop, uh, these Blends Bones collaborations, is the laces that these come with. Um, they come with these super thin, like spaghetti noodle-like laces, and I think they look horrible on these shoes. And every time, this is what we get in black and white. Nice of them to include a different option, the white option. But these laces are just horrible, I think, and I never want to see these again, so I'm going to shove them in here. Um, I went ahead and replaced my pair, or did a lace swap on my pair with these thicker flat wax laces that I stole from another pair of shoes of mine. Um, five Vans Nerd Points, if you can guess, correctly guess where these are from, just from the aglet. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think they look better. Uh, white looks good, too, and I think they should have included red, but again, it doesn't even matter because they probably would have just done red in this fucking spaghetti lace, and I would have just thrown them in the garbage because <laughs> that's how, what I think of them. I think they're garbage. Um, sorry, I just, I get really mad. I just don't understand why they keep including those. They don't look good. They don't look good at all. I don't like them, and I don't think... A lot of people do. Whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's it for this uh, review, guys. Um, we got the same box as the other two collaborations. Same as the old school and same as the uh, first Skate High. Just black with this logo on here. Um, I think this time they didn't include the little drawing of the bone jazz stripe, which is weird, but whatever. And then inside, just the dust bag with that same logo. And these crappy laces. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please feel free to check out some of my other videos. I've got the old schools that I did a review of in there somewhere if you haven't seen that already. Um, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to check out some more of my videos and you actually like them. And please, if you got some time on your phone, you know, check out my Instagram feed. It's uh, at Dan the Soul Man. And I've got a bunch of pictures of me wearing my shoes. So that's it for this time, and I will catch you guys later.